Winning mindset lesson of the day, how to train for sports specific muscle. Taken from Westside Barbell, strongest gym in the world bar none. I was just over there a few weeks ago out in Ohio. A lot of people don't realize, not only do they have the strongest power lifters in the world, but about 80% of the people that go to Westside Barbell are actually athletes. So they know a thing or two about taking top athletes and making them even stronger. Here's a couple lessons from them. First, make sure you're rotating your exercises regularly. So you never wanna do more than three weeks in a row of the same exercise. So if you find you've been doing the same exercise for three weeks, the fourth week, you gotta switch it. Otherwise your muscles are gonna to adapt to training. You never wanna to adapt to training. Next, your mentality for lifting weights and for strength training can't be that of a bodybuilder. Okay, you have to think about it as an athlete. What's gonna improve you on the field or on the mat or on the course? Wherever it is that you play, wherever it is that you compete, you're trying to get better for that specific competition, not just putting up big numbers in the weight room, which means the movements that you do in the weight room need to mimic your sport to the best of your ability, okay? That means when you're doing abs, you don't wanna be laying down flat. If I'm a wrestler, which I was, you don't wanna be laying down flat doing abs and doing sit-ups because when are you ever on your back like that? You should never be on your back like that. That means you're getting pinned, right? So when you do your abs, you wanna be standing up, hold the, bar, hold the, um, you know, the, the pulley behind you, Bend down doing abs. Hold the weights down by your side. Go side by side bends. You'll never catch a bodybuilder doing that because they don't want to put on sides of their, of the, you know, they want to keep a nice tight taper down here. Now, if you're an athlete, you want to have strong obliques. Even if there is a little bit of muscle coming out, you want to make sure you're doing that. That's one of the best ab exercises you can do. Static abs, holding onto a band, tying the band to the top of the weight, of the weight rack and bending side to side. Standing abs, right? Same thing with um, back. Instead of sitting down on your butt doing lat pull downs or doing lat rows, you want to be standing up. Stand up, right? Bent over rows with um, barbell. Bent over rows, single arm. Bent over row, or rows as you're, you, have a, you have a sled that you're pulling. Pull it in and take a step back. Pull it in, take a step back. Sled pulling is great. Highly recommended by Westside Barbell for GPP, general physical preparedness. Do a lot of sled pulling. Forwards, backwards, uh, sideways, different directions. Right, take about six trips of 60 yards. That's great for you, and you walk with the sled. You don't run with the sled. Flexibility training, making sure minimum you're doing three days a week for 20 minutes, working on sport-specific stretches. So get yourself in positions that you would be in in your sport and improve your, your flexibility at those joint angles. Don't just stretch to stretch. Okay, you don't get extra points for, for doing a, you know, a straddle stretch if that's not part of your sport. Think about the situations you're in in your sport and make sure you stretch those specific joint angles. Next, your tendons. You need to train your tendons three times as much as you train your muscle. Three times as much. So we tend to think about, we tend to think about weight training as, or strength training in terms of I need to have a barbell or I need to have a dumbbell. You gotta get that out of your head. You gotta start thinking like an athlete, okay? At Westside, they train their tendons three times as much as they train their muscles, and they're the strongest people in the world. So how do you do that? Well, I heard a great, I heard a great um, lesson from Louis Simmons, the coach of Westside Barbell, the head of there, um, interviewing Zach Evanesh, great strength trainer over underground strength training, trained some of the top athletes, some of the top wrestlers, interviewed him, and Louis said what you should be doing is every day, Pick two exercises and do 100 reps of a, of a rubber band. So using those jump stretch bands, those long bands, you want to be able to pick a weight of those bands that you could do a lot of reps. So for a kid, you might be using one of the red the red bands that's like between like 10 and 30 pounds, 10 and 50 pounds, right? The um, As you got stronger and stronger or your heavier and heavier weights, you might want to be using the blue band or the green band. But you don't want to pick something that's out of reach. You want to pick something that you could do for 100 reps. So you pick two different exercises every day. So you change the exercises tomorrow and then change the exercises the next day. You could rotate the old exercises back in. Just make sure every day you're changing. And one day maybe you're doing um, tricep pushdowns. You hang the band over the door, you push them down. You wrap your legs up, leg curls. I have a video on tendon strength that I got a lot of that stuff from Westside Barbell. We'll send that as a link as part of this video. Make sure you do two exercises a day, 100 reps for your tendon strength. Next, rows. For your back is very important, right? So rows are far more important than pull downs. Instead of, like we said, sitting down, doing lat pull downs or doing rows. I'm not saying you can't do that. You could throw those in time and again, you know, every now and then, but you should be predominantly standing or doing something that mimics the sport. Rowing happens a lot more than pulling down. And in fact, I've also heard that instead of pulling down, you don't want to be real wide. Maybe if you're a bodybuilder, you would, 
right? But as an athlete, you're trying to protect your shoulders. For wrestlers, shoulders are one of the first things that gets hurt. So if you're gonna do pull-ups, this is not anatomical position out here. This in the front of your body, where you pull down, your hands are in front of your body, that's fine. That's good, that's gonna protect your shoulders. Once you start getting wide, it's gonna start messing up your shoulders. You gotta protect it. You can't afford to have shoulder injuries. Um, better, it's probably safer, under grip or neutral grip for pull-ups if you're gonna do pull-downs. But rows are more important. So standing up, bent over rows. You could lock the, um, you could do landmine rows where you have the bar that's attached into the, um, the landmine, that contraption. You pull it up, those are great to do. So rows are superior to pull-downs. Make sure you're deadlifting. Make sure you're squatting. Wide stance tends to help better than a, a, um, a narrow stance. Why? Because a wider stance activates the hips more. In what sport don't you need to have really strong hips? In what sport do you not have to have strong hips? You, you, need, you need strong hips. So make sure you're doing that. Plyometrics, explosive power training. Again, get your head out of the bodybuilding mentality. You're an athlete. Strength training does not just mean barbell and dumbbell. Strength training also means explosive power. So you could fire out of the blocks at top speed. Okay, so what do you need to do for that? Jumping, a lot of jumps. So different exercises you could do to mimic different sports, different sports movements depending on your sport. But what you're gonna do is if you're an intermediate athlete, twice a week you should be doing 40 jumps. If you're an advanced athlete, twice a week, 60 jumps. But that's got to be built into your training. Or your strength training is not just what you do in the weight room. It's also the flexibility training. It's also the plyometrics. It's also the tendon strength. It's not just barbells and dumbbells. So you have to get your mind out of the bodybuilding mentality and start training smart, right? You train hard. You have to also train smart. Make sure you're doing all those things. Those are some great lessons from Westside Barbell. We thank Louis Simmons, we thank Tom Barry, all those guys that are just bringing great information to us. Make sure you follow their page on Instagram. We'll tag them on this also. Mindset makes the difference.